All right, back here for another day, and I started getting the uh, the heated bed and the hot end wired in there. I got the power wired in there, so now I got to go back and I, I got to cut and change these connector types, the two uh, thermistors, and uh, I'm gonna change the separate drivers, prop probably. And so I bought one of my local electronics store, Marvac and Costa Mesa, and I got my little connectors, three, some threes for the end stop. These are for the uh, thermistors end stops and the separate drivers and the connectors for those. Alright, so I'm going to go back and do these two first. The thermistors, get those in there. And then I'll come back and do the start work on the end stops. Alright. One of the things I learned from the uh, SKR 1.3 board was that the uh, end stops were actually a ground trigger and not a 5 volt trigger. So that's why I actually have on these last two pins right here. So if it was a 5 volt trigger, this would be wired here and here on the ends. But because it's a ground trigger, it's these last two. It's tight, but there we go. Oh, barely going. There we go. That's my X stop. Look how tight it is. Let's see if I can loosen that up a little bit, maybe. But, alright, time to do the Y. All right, making some progress here. So uh, now I got to worry about the uh, the Z, my auto sense, auto bed leveling sensor, which is right there. So that's a capacitive uh, PMD normally open uh, sensor. So one of the cool things about that board originally, the uh, the printer board, like I said in other videos, is that this is one of the very few boards that can ha actually take a a 12 volt return trigger. It sends out 12 volts and it also brings back 12 volts. And there's a jumper on the motherboard that actually does that. I'm trying to find it. There it is right there. So that switches between 12 volts and 5 volts. That's very, very unique to PrinterBot. Most boards aren't like that. So my options are now, um, because I know by default this thing actually has a ground trigger versus a 5 volt trigger, I can run a uh, octocoupler and wire it in. Or I can uh, change the sensor to a NPN sensor, normally open. So the same sensor, uh, but it's going to be NPN. NPM is basically sends back a ground trigger, and a PMP sends back a positive trigger. So um, haven't decided yet on that, but kind of move along. Making some progress. It's a new day, and I got most of the wiring done. I guess still got to do some of the LED power wiring, but. Uh, that's the LCD connector right there for the uh, TFT-35. Uh, what else? Do I, oh, aqua coupler. So that's one thing I have to work on is the aqua coupler and the auto bed leveling sensor. So, like I said in that previous video, that I can't use it directly. So I have to do aqua coupler. And I tried a few different, you know, air ducts. This, this is actually going to give me enough room for that thing. So I tried a couple different ones I showed you. And this is the one I decided to go with. So this is a 50-15 blower fan. And it's going to go like this. And it's also going to help protect the stuff. So, oh yeah, then I also to get some standoffs here too. That's another duct. See, this whole kit was like $70 on Amazon. So it gave me some standoffs to get the right height here. And uh, once I'm done, like I said, it's going to be right here like this. And that's going to create circulation that's going to blow around the separator right there. So, alright. So, keep on wiring. So. Actually, really, the sensor I should have is a uh, MPN normally open uh, capacitive, but I do actually have a few sensors, and I just want to show you uh, how I've connected my multimeter here and my variable power supply, but I want to show you that the smaller sensor, actually, the problem with these other sensors is that the, the computer board needs a 5 volt return, but these things don't really work under, around 5 volts, these bigger ones do. So, but the small one seems to work at 5 volts, so 4 volts, so when I trigger it, I put my finger here, right? I don't see anything on the multimeter, right? It's not triggered, but I bring this up to about, got this down to about as low as 4.5 volts, and it started working. So take a look. Even though, what's weird is the uh, 
the original ANA printer I had, and the printer bot wants a wants a, a positive voltage back on the end stop. By default, this one wanted a ground trigger, so I'm about to figure that out. Maybe in the Marlin firmware, but so I'm assuming I'm gonna be about five volts right there. So this small little sensor actually operates at five volts. I don't know how accurately, but it does. But I never had that luck with these bigger ones. So these things would never run at five volts, at least reliably. So that's why I always had to actually had to run like an aqua coupler like this. So, all right. This is the last major hurdle I gotta deal with over here, so. All right, got this thing wired up. So, I have the power on, I have to plug in my Dell power supply that I originally had converted. I created this extra provision here. It's a 12 volt um, break off here. So in case my uh, auto bed leveling sensor doesn't work on five volts for some reason, I'm gonna actually install my octo, op, no, not octo coupler, but opto coupler. Where'd it go? Somewhere in here somewhere. And I'll put that in there and I'll have to mount it here somewhere, but I'm gonna keep that just in case. I'll put that down right there and obviously my 1505 fan is working. I'm gonna, can't do this on camera, but I'm gonna put that in there. Put some screws on it and we're back. Oh, I might as well uh, see if this thing actually works. My capacitive sensor, so I'm getting a light. So it is working on five volts. So I'm about to go into Marlin and change the uh, inverting to false. Um, but, uh, alright. Alright, there it is. Take a look. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely helps having the schematic right now above my head here. but. Alright, All right, so that's the end of this video. This is the TFT-35 that's going to be mounted right there. I think those new legs turned out pretty good. So now I get to mess with the Marlin 2.0 configuration and get this thing going. Alright, looking pretty good. Alright, 32-bit printer bot.